dating and pickup are undoubtedly something you would like to enhance by strengthening. Especially if you are in your 20s or early 30s. You not only become a better guy who comprehends the nature and dynamics of women, but even more crucially, you begin to comprehend yourself. You begin to comprehend social dynamics, what causes individuals to behave in certain ways, and how you may influence a situation. All of these factors are related if you wish to advance in social and professional contexts. You might not like the sound of most of the unvarnished realities you are about to hear. At first, this is mostly the result of social conditioning. We everyone do, but try to comprehend properly before you become agitated. What do they imply? Though you might not fully comprehend them yet, keep them in the back of your mind. And as your life progresses, you will have a greater understanding for these unvarnished unpleasant facts. Every young man has to know the first hard reality. I must emphasize that the more lovely woman is, the harder you must work. Now, don't memorize this incorrectly. I'm not saying you should act in that way. Jim Bro, who doesn't have a chest but yet carries himself regularly with his chest out. This does not suggest that you should act aggressively or turn into a bully. Avoid being a simp. You'll meet a lady who rates a 10 on your scale of attractiveness for the first time. You are a fresh player in the game, thus it is extremely simple to elevate her. It's very simple to get caught in the simp trap. You could begin referring to her as gorgeous and the woman of your dreams, and so on. The higher the pedestal is raised the more you do this. Keep this in mind if you treat a woman, particularly one who is gorgeous, like a star. Guess how she will handle you after that. Unexpectedly, all of my friends who play the dating and pickup game agree on this. It's something you already know as a fan. Women tend to be consciously unaware of their own beauty, according to research. Why do I say that? Well, when she wears cosmetics and other beauty items, every woman wants to believe she looks attractive. But as soon as you treat her like any other female, without letting her beauty influence how you treat her, she will stop believing that she is too desirable for her to communicate with. Treat her like any other girl, please. And the first raw reality is this. You ought to comprehend. You have to work harder the more attractive she is. In conclusion, regardless of how gorgeous a female is to you, a one or an, don't be a simp for her. In the same way, all girls are hardware. Do not be fooled by their appearance or skin tone. Otherwise, just the facts. Second, disregard her words and pay attention to her behavior. You may have seen women giving you selection cues a lot of times and not understood them at the time. Most newcomer males experience it after two years into the game, or around that time, when taking a shower. Oh, the woman was sending me signs to choose. As you begin to have a better understanding of how women interact, you begin to reflect on previous encounters and realize that you could tell right away by the way the woman was acting that she was interested in you. However, you were too much of a novice at the moment to comprehend. This is what it means to pay attention to her deeds rather than her words. Women frequently say things that might lead you to believe that they are not interested in you. She may describe you as being too young or short for her, or she may simply state, you're not my type. You may refer to this as a crap test. Pass it by. Keep your, by maintaining your stance. It does not imply that you must respond to the woman's garbage with violence. Test, simply retain that flirty five and feed off her behaviors. Keep an eye out for her eyes, the way she approaches you, and her body language. These are the clearest signs of a girl's feelings for you. Not what she said. For cold pickups, rock truth, number three, and this is a huge, this is especially true. You need to get this ingrained in your memory as a guy, especially if you are in your late teens or early twenties. Avoid pursuing ladies. Become the man that women will want to date instead. According to a proverb, chasing something indicates that it is eluding your attention. Instead of chasing people, you attract them. But in order to do so, you need to have something of worth to offer them. Keep in mind that everything in this world is for sale. Every person we meet, every friend we make, and every encounter we have in this world is motivated by our desire for something or by someone else's desire to get something from us. Women will approach you if you have something worthwhile to offer them, indicating that you will draw. Imagine yourself as a magnet. Your magnetic pull is relatively faint when you initially start, but as you gradually develop a healthier body and attitude, you begin to cultivate yourself. When you keep yourself to a higher level rather of just flapping off sometimes, you look nice, smell wonderful, and your magnet instantly starts to develop stronger. Why? Because you are polarizing more strongly. You're evolving toward M and the simpler it is to draw the feminine rock truth, the more masculine you are. The fourth woman you approached and was turned down by will become interested when she learns you have another woman. 
young brothers should remember that ladies value social evidence. That's accurate. Women are big on social proof. Try to guess why women make up the majority of Instagram users. Women, according to one entrepreneur in autos, like to wait at the finish line and select the victor based on social proof. When you start to grow better in these areas, I'm talking about the amount of social attention you receive what others think of you, and how they treat you, you naturally rise up the women's scale of attractiveness. Consider for a moment having a buddy who had a huge crush on a certain female, but who was completely ignored by her. However, move forward 15 years, and today, that acquaintance is a well-known actor. He does well. He is popular. Do you believe that female would still find him attractive despite the fact that he now had social evidence from both his followers and the ladies in his immediate vicinity? The fifth truth is to embrace rejection. It will strengthen you. Keep in mind that not even the finest pickup artist or most attractive man in the world would have a 100% conversion rate with women. All that matters is preference. Simply said, even if you have improved as a guy, most women will find you beautiful, but some won't. Rather than becoming upset about it, move on and concentrate on the women who do want you. This is known as the art of moving. Being rejected by women is one of the finest methods to practice remaining grounded, which is one of the best masculine qualities you can learn. You will teach your thinking that rejection is not a huge issue after experiencing it. You did not perish or sustain any injuries. You only need to go beyond a mental obstacle. If you've done any psychological research, you know that our fear of rejection has its roots in the way our prehistoric ancestors lived. They inhabited tribes and groupings. The likelihood that you would survive if you were rejected by your tribe would drastically drop since you would be forced to forage for food and defend yourself against wild creatures on your own. And, this explains why our fear of rejection is still built into our brains. However, as soon as you experience rejection, you may begin to strengthen your mind by overcoming this limiting idea. This is one of the finest manly qualities to develop when it comes to the unvarnished reality. The sixth tip is to avoid sin, moms, and brothers. I must emphasize this. All of the opinions that single mothers have about dating men are based on their prior relationships. And the majority of the time they are unpleasant. She will bring all that negativity into your life if you join forces with her. If there is a single mother reading this right now, I can immediately tell that you are upset by it. But take a moment to picture yourself having one. Would you prefer that he spend time with a woman who lacks experience in life and is submissive? Or would you prefer that he spend time with a woman who has experienced psychological trauma and is likely to subject your son to it as well? For young men, it's common to be approached by these types of women. Most men who go this route begin to believe she is such a beautiful woman. Better is due to her. And perhaps she does, but when you get settled in with them, you start to view things quite differently. Because avoiding single moms will prevent her from experiencing her old traumas from returning. Not that you should never speak to them, 